Hey boys, it's Arm None. Today I'm back in Grand Theft Auto Online with my friends NPC and Twingo for another customization battle. Before we get into what we're customizing today, we have to go over the voting totals from last week's customization battle, which was of course on the Fister Astron. Twingo has the voting totals for us right now, so if you'd like to read those off, sir. All right, the winner of the Fister Astron customization battle was myself, Twingo, with 176 votes. Second place goes to Harm None with 94, and NPC is the loser with 92. Very close. Rip. I cannot believe you use like chrome wheels more. The chrome wheels fit. They fit very well. No. I got, I got, I got about 10,000 comments saying, bro, your chrome wheels look so good. And NPC's black Segois looked so terrible on his car. Okay, but anyway, so we're going to be customizing. <laughs> the, so anyways, we're going to be customizing the brand new Grotti Itali GTO Stinger TT in today's customization battle. Very long name, way too long, honestly. Don't know why they couldn't have just named it like the Stinger Modern or something. I don't know. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and watch NPC sell his car. And then we're going to go get our Grotti Stinger, whatever the f*** it's called over here. And we're going to start the customization battle. I still think my color looks Com the best. Completely deserved. Bro, Mine is definitely the wheels, best. Bro. Oh my god. Well, at least I got some money back after, after uh, being so broke from this DLC. My god, do you see his arm? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at all the can of Seminoles, they're running. After they've been removed from the game, it's so good to see them flocking. <laughs> they're migrating. <laughs> yeah, they're migrating. <laughs> going north for the summer. Yes, exactly. We're going to GTA to North 6. Yankton. All right, well, uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Hey, you rats. The firemen oh are trying to fight me. All right, let's get over to here. Well, let's go. The Come on. The oh firemen. my god, I ran over him. Oh my goodness. All right, nerds. Oh my god. Good right. luck. You're gonna need it. <laughs> You're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. Hashtag foreigner. All right, guys, we're inside. We're starting off with the armor on this vehicle. You may notice we're not customizing it at the agency. I, I don't want to put any Imani Tech stuff on this thing anyways, so we might as well skip it. Uh, we want full armor, full brakes for sure. For the bumpers, I do kind of, I, I don't know. The stock front bumper looks good because it doesn't have this weird little like lip there i think i'm going to keep it stock for right now at least we might change that after uh for the rear diffuser we could go carbon on that i feel like it definitely does look better in carbon at the same time the racer diffuser is pretty nice looking too but i feel like the stock is almost better so let's just leave it completely alone honestly for right now uh engine we're gonna go all the way up on that for sure though for the exhausts on this car I do think that I kind of want to go for the performance exhausts, um, either that or the carbon copper exhausts. I feel like those look really good. I feel like we could incorporate that into the build somehow. Let's go for that for right now. For the grill, we got to go for something different. I hate the stock grill in this thing. I think it is so bad looking. We're going to have to go for either the aftermarket grill or the, or the sports grill. I think the sports grill is the only really good looking one, so let's do that. For the hood, there's some really strange options. I don't know how to feel about it at all uh the aftermarket hood's okay looking the vanity hood is kind of cool as well uh but then it gets like there's stuff like this like what is the racing hood like that is so ugly and then we've got like the carbon racing hood which reverses it and then you've got the gt hood which is just bizarre looking so strange i don't i don't understand that option at all um i think for the hood we're gonna have to go for like the street hood uh, I think it's the only one that really makes any sort of sense or the aftermarket hood, but I think the street looks just a little bit better So let's go for that xenon for the lights. I wish that I wish that there was a headlight up here I don't know why there's not it would look so much better if there was but again, we don't have it. So whatever uh, Neon kit. I don't think I want to go for it today for the livery. We do have white stripes We've got blue stripes red stripe. Uh, we also have the yellow stripe, which I really like but I hate how it doesn't go uh, right to the edge of the uh, of the bumper there. I, that really drives me nuts. It also kind of does it on the rear of the car. So I guess it is kind of a stylistic thing, but I don't know. Uh, we also have the Italian stripes, uh, which I'm not going to put on this car. We have the Rally Division livery, the 07 Racing, the Camo, the Narc 20, the Fadeaway, and back to none. I think I'm going to leave it just bone stock right now. Yellow and black for the plate though, we will go for that. For the color, 
I'm very tempted to go for a cream because I think that it, it highlights with the copper um, exhausts very well. Either that or going for something like a bleached brown. I know it's a really like boring color, but I feel like it could look really good on this. I feel like it could also look really good in like a darker blue, like a galaxy blue maybe. In fact, I think that I almost want to go for it. I feel like galaxy blue is so good looking. Could go for like a green of some sort, like an olive green. That wouldn't be a terrible color either. I actually kind of like that a lot. Or like a dark green or racing green. Racing green, but without the pearlescent could go crazy on this, honestly. That could be really good. I'm tempted, I'm tempted with the green, honestly, I really am. Orange could be cool. Red, obviously, like it's a Ferrari, but I've already done this car in a red and I'm not like super thrilled with it. So I think that I kind of want to go for a galaxy blue today. I feel like, I feel like a galaxy blue um, is going to look really nice, but at the same time, that green, there's something about the green that's very nice. I don't know though. I don't know. I feel like the galaxy is a safer play. Let's go for galaxy blue right now uh, for the secondary color. I think that I almost want to keep it black. Um, it does do the active rear spoiler on the car, but I feel like some more black on the car wouldn't be bad looking. Um, at the same time though, we could just match it. Let's just match it. It's just easier to do that. For the interior color, um, I kind of want to go for something a little bit lighter, like maybe a silver sort of color. I feel like a silver would look kind of nice. Uh, bluish silver especially, because it kind of matches up almost. But what about, oh, what about a harbor blue interior? That looks sick. That looks so good. I like that a lot. Okay, got that on. All right, for the skirts, hmm, what do we want to go for? I feel like something carbon would be nice to have for sure. Something not too aggressive, something pretty subtle, I feel like. Maybe even just the carbon stock skirt or the street skirts, but in carbon. You know what, the street skirt in carbon. Let's go for that. Um, the, for the splitter, we got the fin splitter. We got that in carbon as well. Uh, we also have the racer splitter or that in carbon as well. The arc splitter or the arc splitter in carbon. You know what? I don't hate the arc splitter in the carbon. Oh, that's actually pretty nice looking too though. The carbon super splitter. I kind of like that. Oh, with the trim color around the edge too. Okay, let's do that. And then wait, let's go back to the skirts. Let's do the trim skirts. And then can I do, wait, I got to go back to the bumper options. For the rear bumpers, is there a trim racer diffuser oh that's so sick let's go for that okay wait and then on the front bumper what if we made this carbon i kind of don't like the little hint of blue there though i feel like it looks better without it but i do like the carbon so i think i gotta go for the carbon gt bumper let's go for that uh where were we at we were at the splitter let's see a spoiler uh, we got the aftermarket spoiler or the sports aftermarket spoiler either of them look okay uh, the carbon performance wing is like okay looking as well. I really do love the exclusive carbon wing and the, and the, uh, the secondary exclusive wing, but they just don't fit with the build. So I can't go for it right now, even though I really, really want to. I also don't really like how the aftermarket spoiler goes above the headlight. I think that's really kind of ugly, uh, but it is integrated very well, actually. So maybe I should just go for it. I kind of like it with the, uh, with the holes through it, the sports aftermarket spoiler. I haven't done it yet on this car, so let's go for it today. Sunstrip could go for one. Not a big fan of it though. I'm gonna leave it off. For the suspension, we will lower it all the way down. Transmission, race transmission for sure. Turbo, gotta go for that. For the wheels, um, I feel like in the track category, if we went for something like the High Five, which is very similar to the uh, to the stock wheel, I feel like I feel like that fits the car extremely well. Same with the Super Lux though. That is a great option that we have here, honestly. Street category, could go like Concave Mega Mesh or something. Uh, True Fade Concaves on this car actually work really well. High Professor also a good wheel. Segoi concave, Mercy concave. Of course, the Mercy concave looks good. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna look at it because I just. I just don't want to use it again. The S Racer actually isn't. Isn't bad looking. I could definitely see that on this car. What about in the high end category? What if we go for something in here that's that's kind of kind of nice? Uh, could go for a Cheetah RR, just a regular Cheetah RR. They do look so good on this. Actually, they fit the car so well. I gotta go for that. I gotta go for that. Wheel color, I do like it in the black. Also don't mind it in like a black steel or something. The black steel is kind of nice actually. I almost like that. At the same time, the regular just black is really nice too, but something about that black steel. I kind of like it. I feel like it fits nicely. Let's go for it. Uh, tires are already bulletproofed, weird. Uh, window tint, let's do, let's do limo tint. I mean, 
I'm not gonna mess around. Uh, for the exhaust, I do have to change that exhaust option, I think. I think it would look a lot better with the, just the performance exhaust, honestly, in like the full black. I feel like that looks really good. I'm pretty happy with how this car has turned out. Let's, uh, let's take it outside, dare I say? I feel like it looks, I feel like it looks good. Let's, let's go outside. Let's see, is anybody else out here? Oh, Twingo is out here. Interesting. Okay. I feel like this looks really solid, though. I, I definitely, definitely like the look of this. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Harmon. Hello, sir. Hello, beautiful color. Thank you, thank you. I had to had to go had to go for a little a little a little subtle build today. I like your spoiler. I love that spoiler option. That so much. spoiler looks so good. It's, it's it has like, two really nice options. This one has the carbon on it. Yeah. And the secondary pillars, but the other one looks nice too. Yeah. Oh, NPC. Well, NPCs here already. It's a, no way. Oh my god. There's no way. You're <laughs> oh my god. Not again. Wow. Not again. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god! Oh my god! Wow. Why? Huh. It's a little different, I think. Sir, yeah, yeah. sir, sir. What were the two? What was? What was the color of both of your dominators? Uh, oh, it was red and black. Except yeah. this is black and red. This is black and red. I will say, no yep. shot. The interior is red too, bro. Yep. <laughs> different shade. Different shade. Oh so my fine. god. Oh my god. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wow. Um, well, I can do something cool. different. I can do. I can. I can go back in. No, no. no. I think I, this is good. No, no. It, oh it, it's my okay. God! I'm always twinning with someone, bro. Man. Oh. Well, let's. Uh, let's hit the observatory. <laughs> Here we go. Let's hear. You're mine. Let's... All right. So we went with a primary as a graphite and a stone silver pearlescent to tone down the brightness just a little bit. Okay. And then, of course. The red stripe livery because it really does look good on this car. I was gonna pick the yellow one at first actually, but it doesn't come all the way down at the back. It I cuts know off. it's really it looks annoying. so stupid. Yeah, did that we did some trim accents on the oh, splitters now and that skirts. looks good. It looks very good. And that then the looks little incredible. bit on the spoiler with the pillars on the side and then a carbon on top. It looks very cool there. And the rest of the accessories are carbon as well, except for the wheels, which are hyper fresh which have those little red rings in the middle too, which really adds to it, I think. And to top it off, we tinted the windows and then it's a grace red for the interior, a little bit darker. I felt like a bright red interior didn't look too great on this, so just had to mute it a little bit. Yeah, it's still uh, it's still pretty bright, but I think it works well. I yeah, I'd say so. I think it's nice. nice. I like I like your trimming. I like your, I like your trimming. On the, uh, mm, it's nice and there. subtle, not too much. I went for a pretty, yeah realistic kind of build with this i think it'd look great without the red stripe too now that i'm thinking about it it's totally. trying to kind yeah. of imagine just a flat black Ooh, it's yeah. a great looking car it is mm -hmm. it is a great mm -hmm. and it looks incredibly good in uh the, dark colors the only mm -hmm. thing that i really do not like about this car is why is there seemingly a place for a headlight to go but there's no headlight in the place that it should i know yeah there's just nothing the there headlight is if there was an event if literally if the headlight was just not in the bottom part there where it is, but if the headlight was just at that part that's cut out for a headlight, this car would look so much better. Or if it just wrapped around. Like, yeah. Like what it already has yeah. and then yeah. fill it out. Yeah, exactly. It's just half done. Someone forgot to input the texture. Yeah, no, honestly, I, I it's I don't know. It's odd. Unreal. It's very odd. But still I, I think you uh, I think you have a solid build. Nice, for sure. pretty fresh. All right, let's hear about the next one. All right, so for my car, I went with a carbon black. Of course, uh, same same general theme as Twingo here. Carbon black, uh, I left the pearlescent on it as is. I went with the red stripe livery, Torino red interior, but I decided to not go for the trimmings because, um, well, there was a few different reasons why I left the secondary color black. Basically, on the back here, um, Mm. On the, on, as you can see in your car, it's like a different yeah. shade of red. Yeah. And I, I didn't like that and I, I couldn't, there's no other red that looks like that. So I just left it black. That allowed me to go for the, the secondary spoiler. Because you went for the carbon variant, I think. Mine is just all, it's just all black still. For the trimming, I went with pretty much carbon all the way around with no trim because uh, I didn't like the race diffuser. I, I felt like it fit very tight on the car. You know that those those like fish that swim under stingrays? No. Like very closely? Okay, well I'll throw up an image on screen. But 
that's kind of what it reminded me of and i just i just didn't like the fitment of it um and then for the skirt i went with the stock version but carbon and then the splitter up front uh, i had a little bit of a hard time with this because basically there's like the bumper and then there's the splitter and yes. for the bumper the only way you can make it carbon is by adding the livery yes the, the exactly lip at the bottom and i didn't mm. like that um and then uh for the splitter i didn't really like how all of them jutted out so this is the most minimal i could go while keeping the theme consistent of uh, carbon all the way around because there's there is a carbon the stock the carbon version of the stock diffuser and then i have the titanium performance exhaust and blacked out high fives very good oh okay. oh wait last thing last thing mm, mm. is the grill i did the one with like a couple little fangs because i thought it, it kind of made oh, it look like yeah. a vampire yeah. with the black and the red like dracula vibes okay there's your theme for today harm none nice very okay, cool vampires I'm, I'm really glad you had one it was killing me not knowing <laughs> uh, okay well uh, for my build, um, I I went I went with, with some options that I was like, well I I'll get into it I'll get into it. So um, my my theme is is carbon and a color. How surprising! Crazy. Very new. Crazy. Yes. Um, so for all of the bottom options, I went for the trim uh, color options. So I went for the trim front splitter, trim side skirts, and the trim rear bumper as well which I think looks uh, looks very good. It's this, a nice little highlight. I mean, I'm really colorblind, so honestly, I can't really tell much <laughs> difference between like the dark blue and the carbon. I can tell that it's not the same, but it, it's not the same texture, but honestly- Pretty it's dark with the shadows, but it looks great it's in the light. It's just a subtle little little detail that I wanted to make consistent. Um, I went for the, the vented hood because I wanted to change the hood, but there's like all, what the f is the unibrow option on the hood? What the Dude, f is that? Oh my that? god! It's uh, it's yeah, the dude it's from so SpongeBob. Ugly. What's the what's Squidward's like twin or whatever with the unibrow? Squilliam. Squilliam. Yeah, it's literally like the Squilliam hood. It's no, disgusting no. looking. Squilliam uh, stash looks better than that. It looks more like a, a Hitler stash. Yeah. It no, it's bad. So dude. boxy. So, it's so bad. It's gross. Yeah. Um. So then I went I went for the uh the carbon uh like grill inside or no it's not carbon actually sorry it's plastic I thought it was carbon anyways uh. There's, there's a bit of that on this car that you can't change, unfortunately, like the plastic sort of look or whatever. Like yeah. it's, just, it's just like black. Um, I thought that I made that carbon, but I guess that I didn't, or maybe there isn't a carbon version of that. I don't know, actually. I don't think there is a carbon version of it. So, of what? Sorry. Uh, the the front like the grill. Yeah, I, I guess yeah. not because I, uh, I must have not. I went for the same one. Yeah. So looks like. Yeah, um, and then I, I suffered from the same thing as you with the front bumper option, where you have to put a little bit of the uh, of the car color on just the tip of the um, the tip of the front bumper there, uh -huh. which I'm not super fond of. But at the same time, I feel like it works because I did go for the trim color, and yeah. it, it kind of ties into it. It's like a, just a big piece of trim, I guess, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. I went Let's for a it. harbor blue uh, for my interior. I think it looks. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. I like the color of it a lot. I feel like it fits uh -huh. very nicely with the with the galaxy blue. Uh huh. Um, and then for the spoiler option, the spoilers on this car I think are really weird. Uh, this is not carbon either, similar to the grill. If I could have made it carbon, I absolutely would have. But it is kind of nice to have something match up with the uh, with the front grill not being carbon. Um, and I went for the one with the uh, with the holes in it because I thought that it was a more interesting sort of look. Um, and I just felt like it felt like it worked. I could have gone for the one without, but I just kind of wanted some more like sort of detail on the back of the car, I guess. Um, this is the only spoiler option that looks like good on this car other than the one that you guys picked, but that one would not have worked for my build, I don't think. So mm -hmm. I, uh, I was not able to go for it. I do like how this spoiler goes right over top of the headlights though. And like, and like it ties in very well, I feel like for being as big as it is. Mm -hmm. And then lastly for my for my rims i went for a black steel because i mm. think that, i think that the black steel like I, something about it maybe it's my color blindness but it it like works really well with the galaxy blue i think i uh i i actually really like your wheel color i think and, and i think it matches the interior too it, yeah it ma it's a, it's like kind of it's like kind of the interior color is like an in-between from the black steel to the galaxy blue sort of thing. That, that's what I was kind of thinking in my head when I was uh, when I was picking it. Because like the black steel, I don't know, I'm definitely very colorblind like I've mentioned a few times, but it's like, I feel like it's almost got a hint of blue to it or it's it like- It definitely does. Yeah, yeah, like a little yeah. bit. So I felt like it worked really well with this and when I saw it, I had to pick it. So that's my build. I, I like the Ooh. synergy with the interior. I think, I think, it, uh, I think it turned out very well. 
I think it's it's nice because you didn't do a uh, what, what what's the one that you go for all the time? Rolled steel. Darks. Uh, no. I don't know. What is it called? Uh, stone silver. That I don't know. That one that one's horrid. But uh, this one, this is a nice looking interior. Color. It's yeah. It's 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 a little more a little a little more tied in. I would say. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I love the blue on it. I think it fits the Ferrari quite well. I think it fits like a it gets like a Roma color for sure. Yeah. Like I, I've seen I think I've seen a Ferrari Roma in a color similar to this. So yeah, very cool. I was uh, quite happy with it. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's roasting right. time. Roasting All right. time. Um, one thing uh, I, I got. A, I got a, uh, oh okay. Oh oh uh, oh oh okay. Uh, well, I just it's a very <laughs> small thing, so I'll just point it out right now. Okay. But it looks to me the like the very edge the pointy edge of your spoiler like comes up out of the body it looks like mm, i can't really get a proper that. angle to see it but no, it just I, looks I really it. weird on why it wouldn't curve downward as well it feels like if you Wait. run your finger on it, you might cut yourself or something but oh like i don't know why they're just the, connect the, the like point that's there yeah. oh i can sort of see what you're saying but i feel like it's touching so it's i don't think it is let me see what are your thoughts it's so weird i, I don't know oh, yeah. it looks it looks off i can kind yeah. of see what you're saying it does go over top of the headlights so it definitely has like a yeah it would have fit i see what you're saying it would have fit better if it tucked into the body like at the edge of the yeah headlight, right okay i don't yeah. really like how it sits on the headlights either i think that's uh, odd. yeah i think it's odd too but i think the way that they designed the back of this car i think it's the only way that kind of makes sense to have a spoiler on it unfortunately a little bit i really like how it looks with our spoilers though because it comes yeah. right off of the lights yeah you can see it yeah. from the top it yeah is, I, it really I like the way them. this one's fit yeah i definitely I, I definitely went for a more subtle uh look i would say I, is it I also really plastic like or paint it's, it's plastic yeah it's like the, it's, a, it's the same as the front grill that you can't really change damn i don't know i feel like it's such a big piece i i the front grill is like a lot more subtle that that's it just is dumb a lot, that it it is a lot like more subtle if, if i like i said if i could have done carbon for both i absolutely would have but yeah yeah. I, I don't know. This one's just so looks. I don't know. It looks fake. I don't know. It, it, does, it, it does look fake. It looks, it looks like, like you. It looks on. like you bought a four hundred thousand dollar Ferrari Roma and ordered a part off of eBay. Yeah. <laughs> like that's yeah. that is what it looks like. I'll roast myself there. That's like a I Honda do, Civic. Mod. I, I do. I do agree. But unfortunately, it's like literally the only thing that I could have done other than going for your wing that you guys both went for, or having no spoiler, which is like something I didn't want either. So yeah. Yeah. I, I like the wing from the back. Uh, I think from the front it looks very odd it looks like like if i grabbed onto that piece and yanked it like it would just break yeah no i totally <laughs> i totally see what you're saying i totally see what you're saying but like i don't know this is kind of random but i'm imagining like like an olympian discus thrower like picking this up and then spinning around with it and throwing <laughs> it from the spoiler i i agree i'm personally not a big fan of of this like the primary blue uh i think that's just a personal preference thing because when twingo used it on his hellfire the hellfire it i mean it blew us out of the water so uh yeah how it, good it blew you just have us a hatred the water. It now. <laughs> yeah people people like this color i think i think uh yeah i think it's a solid choice i think i think it just fits so well together with everything else it does. So. Uh, i mean the only yeah. other roast i guess i have is is i i'm just not a fan of of the back splitter it's just, I, I, I think it's a lot too ugly i think that it, it well it, the way the way that i was sort of imagining it is i was i was originally going to go for a stock uh splitter but in carbon or um diffuser but in carbon but then i saw the front splitters that i could add and i was like okay i can get away with this so I went yeah yeah you can definitely get away with it yeah. I'm not a fan of it, but like whatever. Yeah, I can I can see how you might not like it. I, I, yeah. I if it was like a little less out to the sides, it would look a lot better. I would say. Yeah, if it, yeah. I think if it didn't have this big piece of carbon right on the side on there, the side, it would look great. yeah, it would look yeah really great. I know yeah. that's what it is. Totally. But uh, overall, I do like the synergy between the interior and the wheel color. This is like, while it is like a in quotes harm none ish kind of build with the cheetahs and everything yeah kind of it's a little though. more creative with the colors and i, I like it yeah. yeah i like thank, it thank you i tried um, i tried wingo wingo it's uh you know i want to say black and red supremacy but i i need to make mine stand out a little more so uh all right hit me with it uh well first of all there's an inconsistency oh, with yeah. the, the rear diffuser it i noticed yeah. it too. there's there's no I trimming it too. Yeah, yeah i just, I just completely forgot about the back the back one i didn't even notice this Gotta car had trimming attention. the first time around so yeah 
Yeah, it's, that just slipped my mind. That's unfortunate. You gotta pay attention to those little tiny details. It's, yeah, uh, that, that's what's gonna get you. you. It'll get you. I also hate to roast you for it, but you're yeah. The 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 different red with the uh, with the stripe and the and the spoiler there. I don't think it's terrible. It's, I think it's, it's worth not, it to it's, have the trim. Not, with yeah, the I, I, I do see exactly what you mean. It's just it's it's unfortunate that you can't color the spoiler. It just sucks. Separately. I don't see the point of adding that piece. I to know, I know. Yeah, it's so it does like annoying. nothing. Yeah. It's, it's like so you have to do no livery or for whatever. Yeah. But uh, it, it yes. is it's there. So it even there. with no livery, just out. having red right there wouldn't look great in my opinion. No, it totally doesn't. Yeah, totally doesn't. But it doesn't. It's so random. Yeah, it's very strange. Um. Um, yeah, that's kind of all I really have to say about your car. I, there's not um, really much that can go wrong with this car because there's not too much like to that can be wrong yeah. besides like the spoilers. Yeah. Uh, something that I don't like here is is with the uh, that carbon bumper option, the livery gets extended and now it looks like it has a little tongue sticking out. <laughs> a little bit. What's wrong with that? It's, 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 okay. uh, it's just cleaner without it. it. Yeah, it, 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 it is a little strange to just have a little bit of red from the livery there, but I, it's one of those it is things. Weird. It's, it's a like, weird shaped front end because there's not is. much painted on it, yeah. honestly. Yeah, so it is uh, It is a little bit odd, but that's that's okay. Oh, yeah. and, and last thing, your license plate is uh, it doesn't oh. blend in with your vehicle. Come stand where I'm standing. Oh, man. What do you mean it so doesn't fit? Oh, oh, man. Oh, I think man. it's fine. I think it's normal. I've never seen a car with a black and yellow one, and you guys do it all the time. So you I'm should because uh, it blends in with everything. You should, you should definitely notes, lose buddy. this customization battle as well because you don't have a custom plate. I don't think so. You don't either. Oh, I, it's I got him got back. I got roast, him back bro. with his own roast. I do have one. I just didn't put it on. This oh, you one just didn't. I, I, I hate this car. It doesn't deserve it. it. He's sandbagging. Ooh. Yeah. I think it goes with the badge a little bit though, the red and yeah, the that's true. white. That's true. It looks um, like a normal car. I do like your chrome exhaust though. I, I was thinking about going chrome on mine, but I uh I like the chrome I can't remember if those are the chrome ones or not. I don't know, but they look chrome to me. So they're, I think they might be the regular dual exit ones. Yeah, they probably are, but they, they probably are chrome. I'm though. saying they are chrome. They're colored. Yeah, I, I, I would have picked these titanium ones if it wasn't titanium because I like the shape of the race one. Oh, you can. You can get them in black. You can't. That's it, what it, I have them What? But it has the copper inside. I'm not a fan no. of the copper. No, no, no. What do you mean? Look at my you can't address. really see it with the smoke, at least. I, I can see it when I'm close. Where did you find that? I didn't it's even the see option. it. Underneath the titanium, or above the titanium one. Oh my god! What it's is the wrong exact with same exhaust, but in in black. I do what? think that the titanium <laughs> on NPC's car is a little like insanely bright. It's super blue. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which I, least... I don't think fits with your build. I do get it. It's a titanium exhaust. It's going to be that color regardless. But it, it is a very intense titanium. I it is say. very. Yeah. That, so I'm attracted. I'm like a. I like it though. I, what I do you do, call them? It, it just doesn't. That's like the titanium is like the the angler. Is it the angler fish with the light in front of it? Probably. And it attracts other fish yeah. deep in the sea, and then it eats them. That's it's dangling food right in front. But of But it's you. behind your car. Yeah. How will it eat? Oh. Its fangs are in the front. I'm not a fan of the fangs on the grill either, honestly. I like the fangs, but I think it looks cool. The grill, especially the with grill the Dracula just theme. sucks on this. The grill car. looks stupid. Yeah. It I like, I like it wide open for me. Yeah. It's either got like braces or it's got something to do with with the. It's just a weird mouth. It's yeah. yeah. It's a weird a weird mouth. I think I think you oh, should yeah. have gone for a trim color, um, and PC. But at the same time, I understand why you didn't because that would have made your spoiler red, which wouldn't have matched up with your livery. So yeah. I do get that. Also, would have been the same as me. Yeah, uh, <laughs> your your interior red is too bright though. That, yeah, it that's is, why I didn't is, go with yeah. that You think so? One. It's I, too bright. It's brighter than the like, stripe. I feel like inside. it looks like just. It looks like it makes the car look like cheap almost. I feel like like the, the color is just so. It's like so. It's like it's. I am a red interior. Like I. It just it's screaming at you from outside of the like car. Like a Fisher I'm Price red. kind of red. Yeah, yeah. Like I just think it's it's just too red. Yeah. I love red interiors, but it's just a little too red. I can see that. I tried to match the color. It was yeah. the closest to the uh, the stripe, and yeah. of course, the stripe is is pretty much like what the build revolves around. Yes. The closest Why do they have I to make the get? stripes different colors. I know. I Why can they use it in game red? So dumb. Very. Dumb. Um, but yeah, in Los Santos Customs, this is like the closest shade. Obviously, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, unfortunate. Yeah. But uh, it's 
it's it it's, is what it uh, is yeah it is what it is overall i don't really have anything too negative to say i do think this is just generally a very good looking car uh, yeah but yeah well, I, I got one more thing hold oh, on okay uh -huh. i'm not a fan of this bumper either maybe it's a splitter i'm not too sure i think it's without it the splitter carbon spurts yeah it's no splitter on it there's no splitter. This, no, there is no, a splitter, is a splitter, but there's no bumper. The splitter is, is the fin. Yeah, no bumper. Oh, right but now. no bumper. Oh. Because the bumper yeah. adds the little extra paint, and I that, I oh. want to avoid that. I think okay. it's also that his car is dirty. It makes that plastic look really cheap. Maybe. Is it? My yeah. car, it's clean on my screen. Oh, uh, my screen. It's is pretty dirty. clean on mine. Mm. My screen's a little dirty. Mine, mine's clean on my screen, but I don't know if it is on your guys's. But yeah, not really a fan of like the lip the splitter creates on the bumper. Yeah, yeah I thought it was a little odd too. This is literally as minimal as I could get while staying consistent. I had to add carbon on the front because it's it's plastic here. Yeah. And I was like, I'm gonna get called out for being inconsistent. Damn. So I, I wanted to add a I wanted to add like a, a splitter option, some carbon on the front without like ruining the vehicle. And I thought this was as minimal as I could get since it, it doesn't even take up the whole front. It doesn't add like an extra layer below the front bumper because my problem with adding like any of the other splitter options is like now it's double layered and i don't really yeah. like the way that looks yeah I like when a car if it's the splitter it's just one platform not doesn't need to be a, a double decker bus so i see what you're saying valid yeah well overall the car is i mean yeah look look pretty, pretty solid pretty solid They're good builds it's going to be interesting to see who gets more votes out of uh, out of your two vehicles mm -hmm. yeah um because I feel like that is going to be a bit of a split decision, uh, but yeah, we'll have to see. Um, we will well, have to see. I think that I think that's pretty much it for the battle. That's it for the roasts, and it's uh, it's time for you guys to vote in the comments down below. And uh, go subscribe to NPC and Twingo. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Dislike if you didn't, of course. Subscribe to my channel as well if you guys are new. We're going to do customization battles every Friday usually. Uh, so if you like these, subscribe to the channel and uh, stick around. We'll be doing more in the future. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Peace.